Hey guys, Matt here again, and continuing on with our Sunday afternoon videos today, uh, we're going to be taking a look at, at something called tweaking.com, hang on, yeah, tweaking.com Windows Repair All-in-One. I use this app and it saved my ass over the weekend twice. Um, I had two computers here at the house that had some some really messed up uh, network adapters. Each one, I don't know why. But repairing network adapters in Windows 7, I know there's a few commands you supposedly can run. Those barely ever work, like the net sh uh, reset. I don't know. It hardly ever works for me. So I needed something to run a variety of fixes. Um, also where, where I could just walk away and let it run so I use this app and it was awesome and I just want to give them some props just do this video for them um, hopefully it'll give them a few more followers or something so it's tweaking.com windows repair all in one setup and we'll do a next and we'll install so this video I'll take you through pretty quick it's not that big of a deal uh, we'll create a desktop icon and open it. All right, it's sort of confusing. That's a lot of text, and yeah, it kind of freaks you out whenever you look at it. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. But there's across the top, there's different tabs. Okay, kind of walk it through most of the stuff. This is an advanced tool. I would say the average user probably wouldn't really want to mess with this um, unless they're really desperate they don't want to take their computer to like a shop or something like that so you can th read through step one I'm not gonna go through all that that basically says start up in um, I don't know what is it called safe boot safe mode with networking I I'm not gonna do that in this video I don't have time today um, the other thing it has on step two is optional you can download malware bytes and scan You've already seen my malware bytes videos, so I'm not going to go through that. Uh, step three is optional. It is a disk check. Um, yeah, so it's a disk check. See if the disk check is needed. No restart required. Check disk if needed. This requires a restart. So this will check your hard drive. Check for errors. Sort of necessary thing to do when you're, you know, when you're having a problem with your computer in any way. You know, a bad hard drive can always, you know, be out there. So step three is definitely something you want to try and then just say do it down here on, on number two. Step four is a system file checker. I use this all the time at work and um, and with my clients at home and stuff. Um, system file checker, SFC, will go out and look at, the default Windows installation, the one you're using right now, and check every single crucial file and make sure it's there and it's um, the original file. So let me give you an example of how it works. So we we'll just say do it. It brings up this little uh, command line. So it's going to go ahead and verify the uh, system. And it doesn't take that long, but I'll still pause or try to. Okay, well, the family just got home, so it might be a little loud here, so I better hurry up. So the system file checker went through and didn't find anything it needed to, you know, replace, but if it does, it'll go ahead and replace it for you, and then you can go ahead and it'll tell you to reboot. So uh, this is a good idea. Step five, back up the registry. Okay, and we'll do a uh, system restore point as well. Okay, perfect. Now, let's open up repairs. This is step six. It's got some of the default repairs selected for you. Um, you can select all of them if you want. It's up to you. This one right here. Reset file permissions takes eons, like it goes on for hours. So I usually unselect all, and I just select the ones I want. Um, so like the other day, yesterday, I was having trouble with network stuff. So I'll say hosts. 
repair the Windows firewall. Um, bu -bu -bu. And we'll remove temp files too. Repair Winsock. Remove policy set by infections, definitely. Repair proxy settings. Uh, we'll repair Windows updates. And let's see. Mm, I think that's about all I did. Oh, repair Internet Explorer. I know I'm missing something, but I don't know what. But anyway, I've got those selected, and I would just say start repairs. And this goes through fairly quickly. Um, the one that takes the longest is the reset file permissions, which, you know, if you're really desperate, I guess you can do that, and that will probably take you most of the night depending on how fast the PC is. So you can see it does all the stuff that you could normally do yourself, but it just does it for you, for you, and it does it for you really fast. And that's awesome. Because we'd rather be doing other things. So that's a nice, nice, it's a great little free app, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys check it out, you know, you keep it in mind when, whenever somebody in your family is getting ready to take their computer to a repair shop, you might want to give this little utility a shot. So, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and stop this and upload it. Bye.